Hey folks, this is Matt Miller from Ditch That Textbook, and I don't know about you, but whenever I participate in a Twitter chat, I always come away with just this huge amount of ideas, and sometimes all the things that I've seen, I keep thinking there must be a good way to package all those together in one place where I can come back to them. And I know for the longest time, whenever we've participated in Twitter chat, so many of us have gone over to Storify and have used the Storify curation tool to be able to pull in tweets from a certain Twitter chat and stick them all into one place where you can go back and kind of like see the transcript, so to speak. And there's some other options out there, um, but I found out recently that Storify is going away, like they're shutting the doors on it, which is sad. Um, but in an attempt to try to find a replacement, I found a really neat option that I didn't know existed, and it's built right into Twitter, specifically into its TweetDeck tool. And if you've never used TweetDeck before, it is this great tool that gives you all of these columns that allows you to monitor different things going on on Twitter all at the same time. So I wanted to show you how I'm starting to curate all of my tweets and bring them all together into this one sort of like packaged area in a tweet deck. So let's switch over to the screen for a little bit. And I've already been at work sort of like archiving this one uh, ditch book Twitter chat. We have our ditch book chats on Thursday nights at seven Pacific, 10 Eastern. They go for at least a half an hour, sometimes more. And um, we have a number of questions like many uh, Twitter chats generally do. And so what I've been doing here is I started off by creating this column over here. And the way I did that, I'm gonna click on this column. By the way, I'm on TweetDeck. You can see it up here in the corner. You can go to tweetdeck.twitter.com. And if you're not familiar with TweetDeck, this is the way that you can keep an eye on like your notifications and um, you know different uh, hashtags and different people. You can make all of these columns. And so what I've done here basically is I've clicked add column and I have created a new collection. So a collection is kind of like what it says. It's just a collection of a bunch of tweets all under a certain heading that you create. And so this is the one that I'm working on right now is time savers for teachers. So basically whenever you click create collection, it lets you give it a name, which is kind of like the title for it. It's kind of a short one. I don't know how many characters it is exactly, but it's not a ton. And then you've got a description where you can type in the kind of like the summary of what this collection is all about. And then you hit save and it creates a column that's kind of like this and it starts out blank. Obviously I've been adding some stuff to this one. And so then what you can do is you can drag tweets over from different columns into your collection. And so basically what I did here was I started off in this column here just looking at ditch book. I'm a little behind on creating this collection and it was about six days ago when we had this Twitter chat. So I'm kind of playing catch up here and I looked at it recently and I'm looking here and I'm going, man, this chat was six days ago. I'm gonna have to scroll and scroll and scroll to find all those tweets again. Until I realized that there's a little trick that I can use that can help me find those tweets that I really want from my Twitter chat a little bit better. And I got this idea from Tara Martin. If you've never uh, interacted with Tara on Twitter, she's at Tara Martin EDU. Um, so go check her out. And she suggested once that while I'm doing a Twitter chat, since a lot of times people will put Q1 for the first question and then A1 for the first answer. And if you ever wanna answer a question, if it's that first question, you put A1 at the beginning of your tweet. Well, what if you have TweetDeck only display the ones that say like A1? That's just gonna give you the answers to the first question. Now, we do our chat once a week. So if I put in A1 here, this is gonna go back for the most part, it's gonna go back six days to when we had that chat and it's only gonna display the answers to that first question, which is pretty cool. So um, so that's one way that I was able to use this, um, kind of use this one particular column to sort things so that I could only find those, those uh, answers. So, as I started doing this for the first time, I'm creating this collection and I'm dumping tweets into it. And I'm having the hard time, hardest time keeping them in order. And then I started to realize something that whenever you drag, like watch this, if I'm gonna drag one of my 
or one of the answers over, I've got to click this little plus sign, click on it and drag, and it starts to move it over into this collection. Now, if I want to take it all the way down to the bottom, but if I hover over here for long enough, I will see that it'll say add here. Um, but anyway, if I click and, and if I if I try to add all of those tweets and then bring them down to the bottom, if I start with like question one and then put all the answers under it and then go to question two and put all the answers under it, I realize that all of those tweets that I need to add are going to the bottom. Like I would need to add them at the bottom and it's just lots of scrolling and it's kind of a headache. So I realized that if I start to add the tweets into this collection that I'm doing and if I do it in backwards order start by adding the last answers so we had seven questions in this chat so I'm going to do the answers to question seven first so that they're still up at the top then I'm going to put the question tweet up at the top of that and so that'd be question seven then I'm going to start adding the answers to question six and then I'm going to stick the question six tweet up at the top of that so on and so forth so see what I've done here is I've added all of my answers to question two. I've gotten all the way to that point. There's the tweet for question two, and now I'm gonna start putting the answers to question one. See where it says move here? Okay, so I finally got this, this answer right up here on top of question two. And so as I scroll down through, I can see some other options that are some other answers that I want to include in there. So I just drag those up to the top here also. Wait till it says add here and drop it. And then I can continually, slowly but surely add all the rest of my tweets over into this collection. And whenever I'm done with that, see I've got some other ones that I want to add here. And then whenever I'm done adding all of those answer tweets, I can go find the question tweet and see, there it is. I could see it because in whenever people respond to the answers, a lot of times they just reply to the question and it shows up right here. So I can take this one and drag it over on top of all of the answers and boom. Now my collection is complete. I've got the question tweet up no, tweet question tweet up at the top. I've got the answers and if I continue to scroll down, I'll go to question 2, answer 2, so on and so forth. So when I'm done with that, what I want to do is I want to take this column, click on the little settings button here, and I want to share it. But what I like to do with it is I like to embed these collections onto a blog post on my site. It's going to give me some options on how I do that. I like the timeline personally where it puts it all in order. Then I can do some customization options. Like of course I like to switch the color to more of a yellow color because it kind of fits with my brand a little bit better. And then once I'm done with that, I hit update and then I grab my embed code here. And once I've grabbed the embed code, I can stick it into a blog post or you could put it onto a web page or whatever. And then you've got that nice curated set of tweets that you can put right onto a page. So when I've done it, see I've created these blog posts that go with it and I'll scroll down a little bit and then there is my curated list of tweets. So basically I take the question and several of the answers and put them there into a blog post so that other people are able to go and find it. So I thought that was kind of a neat way to take these Twitter chats, which are so full of ideas, and put them in a place where even people who don't do Twitter can appreciate and learn from them. And then that way you don't have to go through all of the, you know, sometimes hundreds of tweets, depending on the blog post, to find some of the best ideas. So, so if you're looking for an alternative to Storify or just a way that you can take the craziness of Twitter chats and boil it down to the main points, this is something that I think you ought to check out. So you can do that over at TweetDeck tweetdeck.twitter.com. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you enjoy videos like this, uh, first of all, if you can give me a thumbs up on this video, that would be awesome and help other people to find it. Um, but also be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get other videos just like it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.